Gina back again and I have on the changing table Miss Abby Rose and today we are going to try on this zero to three month black polka dot dress with a beautiful hot pink ribbon around the front and these hot pink pants now we'll see how this goes because I think this is a little bit wide, this neck, but in the Paradise Galleries group on Facebook, today is Black Dress Day, so I thought I would give that a try because I think that's the only black dress I have. But currently, Abby Rose is in her little onesie that says, I love hugs. And that's the onesie that I put under her last outfit that I had on and let me see check the camera here so I thought it would be uh, nice just to have the onesie on we made a little extra outfit for her so hope everyone is having a wonderful Saturday it's certainly a beautiful day here and I hope it is for everyone and we've got some kind of big news in our house. Uh, remember I told you a while back that my cat Tommy was sick and had to be uh, put to sleep and I still have Charlie and he seemed to be doing okay other than he just gets very very bored and so we just give him a lot of attention and we brush him every day and play with him every day like you should anyway with your kitties but he just seemed a little extra bored so my boss's sister had lost her cat probably about six months ago and she wanted to get another one so she had some friends that needed to get rid of their female three-year-old kitty and because they were having a second baby and they live in a small apartment so she took this cat and she had it for about three days and she and her husband absolutely adored this cat but the problem was uh, she got a terrible, terrible allergy and asthma attack to where she could barely even breathe. So she was having to take medicine and sleep in the other room. And so they were asking around, all the friends that they knew, if there was anyone who would like a girl kitty. So my boss mentioned it to me because she knew that I lost my cat and we had kind of been thinking about getting Charlie a friend but not seriously thinking about it just wondering if it would be a good idea or not because honestly it has been easier with just one cat for me and you know I have the baby's room and it was just nice because Charlie really didn't come in here very much so I wasn't sure if I wanted another one but I said oh, well we'll look at it we'll look at her and see if we like her and everything and she likes us so we went over there and I I wasn't planning on taking her right then they said oh you can think about it if you want but my husband really really loved her 
and she is a very beautiful cat. So I felt kind of bad just taking her right away without her even really getting to know us. But sometimes you have to do that. Oh, and here she is right now. Let me turn the camera over. She wants to see what I'm doing. Leah, they named her Leia. So, Leia, you want to say hi to everybody? Show them your beautiful gold eyes. There, yeah, got to see it, her eyes for a minute there. Yeah, she's a beautiful, beautiful kitty. And kind of reminds me of Tommy, only she's long hair. And her eyes are gold and his were green. But it was stressful at first because just us getting used to her and she's getting used to us. And then we have to keep the cat separated for a while. Um, that's how they recommend integrating a new kitty into the house. So what we've done is we have a screen, a window screen that we're not using. And so we put it in the doorway and it actually fits in there and it goes quite high so they can see each other but they can't get to each other so I just want to do that for a while because um, Charlie is more aggressive than Tommy was so I just want to make sure that they'll get along I don't want him to hurt her I know there's going to be hissing and stuff like that you just have to go through it to get to the good part but so far everything's good he doesn't uh, charge at the screen so that's a good sign but he really would like to come in here so that's where it is now and since it's the weekend we can work with them more and integrate them more together so that would be nice it's hard when you work all day and to try to have time to integrate the two kitties but she's very very affectionate and very sweet and we love her very much so and she was around a baby so I think she's very comfortable with these dolls <laughs> so anyway I'm glad you got to see her, though, because I didn't know if she was going to come up here or not. But here is... Did I take the onesie off? I did. Okay, so this is the dress, and it is a little big around here. So I might ac actually take it in a little bit. The back is elastic, so it does stretch a lot. And I was actually going to leave the onesie on, but I kind of got busy talking and forgot about it. <laughs> but this is pretty cute. Now we just have to find some shoes or some cute socks. And so we can do that. I have little socks that look like shoes, so that'll work. Or even if she had her white socks, because it is white polka dot, that would actually work too. So let's see. Let's Let me check the camera try to get a nice close-up of this baby this baby Abby baby Abby there she is yeah she's adorable she's just adorable she's a good little girl too so later we're going to get all the babies out and we're gonna see what's in the toy box and we're gonna take out some of the toys and see what's there yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to let you go for now, and then we'll be back with our little toy adventure real soon. All right. Thank you, everyone. See you soon. Bye.